Why didn't Ferrari pit Charles Leclerc? It's a big question on the lips of many F1 fans. Why didn't Ferrari take the decision to change Charles Leclerc's ailing hard tyres when the safety car came out? It's a question I asked myself about 500 times in our race watch along we do live on Twitch. It doesn't make a huge amount of sense, does it? And to be honest, not a lot of Ferrari strategy calls did. By the way, the reason I sound snotty is because I've actually got a cold, not because I've been crying with Charles Leclerc not winning. The reason they were in this mess in the first place was because Ferrari failed to jump on the phone to Carlos Sainz and tell him to get out of the way of his faster teammate. There were lots of target lap time this, target lap time that, floating around, which is typical Ferrari in this day and age. They seem frightened to make authoritative decisions when it comes to their drivers on track. Charles Leclerc has been faster pretty much all season. Nobody can really deny that. And again, during the British Grand Prix, he was quicker than Carlos, despite having front wing damage, costing him around five points of downforce. But Ferrari were hesitant, even though Lewis Hamilton set about 20 fastest laps in a row and was very much in contention for the victory. This delay meant Leclerc couldn't stretch the gap enough for the team to feel safe to double stack. Even then, Leclerc is supposed to be their number one driver. If you want to split strategies, you keep signs out on track and put Leclerc on the rapid, fresh, brand spanking new soft tyres. Take a deep breath, man. Keep calm. It was always going to be quicker. I am honestly baffled. Bonotto was pretty stern in his defence of the strategists at Ferrari, claiming that every decision was the right one, apart from potentially the Charles Leclerc no-stop behind the safety car. Which to me is a pretty big blunder in itself, as it cost Ferrari a potential and pretty solid 1-2. Bonotto claimed after the race that both cars were too close to stop both of them. Apparently they had to make a decision and because Sainz would have lost too much time in the pit stop double stacking, they decided against it. They chose Carlos Sainz to stop over Charles Leclerc because Charles had track position, was leading and would remain leader of the race and his tyres were fresher compared to the ones of Carlos. Bonotto gave the example that if Leclerc had pit from the lead, the others may have stayed out and Leclerc would have potentially come out in fourth. I'm sorry, but there's no way every other team doesn't decide to pit in that moment. Fresh soft tyres were significantly faster and switched on so much quicker after the safety car restart. They also thought that the soft would degrade faster than they did, so a bit of a misjudgement there. I think it's quite clear that they made a mistake with Leclerc. Of course, Bonotto doesn't want to criticise the team when they've just won a race, but to me, it's pretty clear they could have done the strategy better. Hindsight is a beautiful thing, but I nearly fell off my chair immediately after they decided not to pit Leclerc. It was too obvious to say that this was a 50-50 decision. Now, I love Ferrari to bits, you probably know this already. That's why I get so emotional when things like this go wrong. It's incredibly hard being a Charles Leclerc fan this season with all the things not going his way in a potential championship contending season. Today was a 1-2 on a plate for Ferrari, with Red Bull ailing and having their own problems. I feel like they massively missed the mark at the British Grand Prix. There you have it, a look into why Ferrari didn't pit Charles Leclerc. What do you think? Was it a blunder or am I being too harsh using the benefit of hindsight? Let us know in the comment section below.